You get oh my God. Ah. You, what is happening? Man, I'm sorry, ah. fool. Get over here. Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you!
watch it. Davy, how you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davy, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if the when he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... And we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently. He has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. What the hell was that? Don't worry, it's just gas. No, no, it's reanimating. You want to cut it in the coroner's office, you're going to have to lose the nerves. I've been around cadavers. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Get back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! 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 Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. Surrender yourself! You want to end up on the slab? That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. 
definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent- no! You! going on here, but I want to fuck out! Dickhead! Extreme prejudice, people! Lozano's hit! Shit! Lozano's hit! Trust me! I'm not interested the in the truth! doing here but you won't
this? You cocksucker! Just let me go! Hey, Mike. Yeah. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. You ain't too smart, are you? Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people, if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown, in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. These are what I like to call statement weapons. Touch that gun. Makes you moist, don't it? <laughs>
Look at you two together. What a lovely fucking couple. your post-apocalyptic needs under one roof.
Franklin, what's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember I told you I know people? Feds who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently... I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's... I don't... Hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood in, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, be a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you, big. Now come on, you better take off. All right, man, I'm with you. I'm with you. Making my skin crawl.
I caught you going to Honkers. Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This bar and hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh! I love it! I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic. I should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up to questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Huh. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can not teach an old dog new tricks. Come on. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S., Covington Supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet Federal ain't on the deed. That's so. And we all like our Federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. Tell me, Davey, you expense this ride to the taxpayer? I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. Hey! You're That's a, a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking... That's a dumb... Really? Crap! That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the FIB. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? 
Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. Maybe I'll hang back. Yeah, that might be a good idea. No more car accidents. You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit. <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't Bill. Whoa. What, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of... Uh, son I never had. Bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen, if you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us spring Brad, right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. The government gimp at last. Eh, bite me. Let's go. <sighs> All right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. Sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at suicide pack. I'm going in on the west side of the tower. Get us in position, I'll drop. You fuck around while I'm out there. I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it. Yeah. Uh, 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 
Excel had this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. <laughs> Think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I installed cinema equipment, not surveillance. <laughs> Grab. <laughs> 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 You think you're impenetrable? <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Terminate him! Close this problem right now! Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me the station, Chief! 36 flow. I got you. Okay, it's high President! Come on, man! Hold on! Wait! Hey! Oh, no! No, no, no! Room's clear, team! Hit the witch! Get us out! They're extracting the asset! No! VK! Hey! Why are we just hanging here? Hey! Schooling! I'm not leaving here until you shoot those guys! So get moving on it! I knew you were a liability, you fucking turd! Ha <laughs> oh, ain't me trying to shoot you, Mikey! Whoa. That's it! Get us out of here! Right, <laughs> Looks like we've attracted the attention of their air unit. You got a bogey coming at you, Franklin! I thought I had the easy stuff. It easy. Oh, oh, come on, give the guy a break. Oh. I'm gonna get out of this shit. Ha <laughs> ha! In bed with the bureau and a new running buddy. Yeah, he's more of a protege. Yeah, what? You gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. 
Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Jerry, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. 